Hi there, it's Roman from No Code No Problem and today I want to show you how to set up one signal push notification in your natively app. So uh, in this video we will try to add push notification in our real estate app. I will go through all steps and it will be a live video so I might take some pauses and sorry for that. <laughs> okay, let's start. So the first of all, we need to create a new application in one signal. Let's name it real estate demo. Uh, for now, we will set up uh, the push notification for iOS. So the next step is to upload the P12 certificate and provide with a certificate password. Uh, so it's pretty easy to uh, do that. Uh, you can uh, open your Apple developer account here, uh, go to certificate identifier and profiles and click this plus button, uh, scroll a bit button uh, and choose Apple push notification sandbox and production and click continue. Here you need to uh, select your app for me it's real estate and then click continue one more time. So at this step you need to provide Apple with um, certificate sign-in request. If you're using Windows or Linux, uh, we have the um, describe some steps uh, in the documentation. You will need to install this Keychain Explorer. So uh, for uh, macOS users, uh, you need to open Keychain uh, click keychain assess certificate request and request a certificate from a certificate authority uh, simply saved on disk click continue here and saving our file here on the desktop so after that we are going back to uh, to apple developer account uploading our sign-in request and downloading a APS.sir file. Uh, we are clicking it and it opens in our keychain assess. After that, uh, you need to export P12 file. Um, I will sell, save it on desktop and provide with a password, which we will use later on one signal, uh, on one signal service. So as you can see, we saved our P12 certificate and now we can upload it to one signal and also enter the password for this certificate. Save and continue. Uh, selecting target native iOS and uh, after that one signal provides us with uh, app ID. So we're going back to natively platform and enter here this app ID. Also we need to add some description here. I have prepared one before the video and clicking save. After our app was successfully saved we can order a new build. So the system will turn on the push notification on our device. And while we're waiting uh, our build, we can uh, switch back to the Bubble app and start uh, set up in the plugin and some other actions. First of all, we need to install native plugin and provide uh, and fill out a few uh, fields here. One is one signal app ID. Uh, we can find it in our one signal app in keys and IDs. So here is our app ID, input it here, and our REST API key here. Okay, good. Uh, so uh, before you start set up the push notification, we need to actually think how we will uh, how we will use it in the app. So for iOS, uh, Apple require us to request a push notification permission and user can allow or disallow it. 
and to do that uh, we need to use uh, app push notification element it can be find here app push notification i am adding it on the page and on the page load we will request user's permission for push notification uh, for Android you actually don't need it but because of Google and they are not requiring these steps to be uh, done so after that uh, this what this section will uh, call the native pop-up uh, with the description uh, that we have provided before uh, the permission text uh, and it will show a small pop-up uh, with uh, this text and with two buttons allow and don't allow uh, we also have here some um, events uh, for example push notification permission authorized and push notification permission denied so you can do some actions uh, on that so um, in our case we don't need to observe that we don't want to observe that part and we one thing we just want to use it's uh, push notification one signal player id updated so what is actually player id uh, player id is this, like unique identifier that is, will be generated uh, on a device and you will need this uh, identifier to actually send the push notification on this device and this event will notify us when the push, uh, when the uh, the bubble app will receive this player ID. So what I, I need to do next, I need to save somewhere this uh, player ID, and I have created an additional field in my user, uh, named it player ID, and we will save it right there. So I need to make changes to my current user select player id and get the player id from this push notification element here uh, after we stored uh, the player id now we can uh, send our push notification so i have the simple button here test push and by clicking this button i want to send uh, push notification to the current user so to send push notification we have uh, here two action the first one uh, one signal player id send push and the second one uh, one signal segment send push so we will start from the player id so as you can see here we have a bunch of fields that we that needs to be filled out uh, for so the first part is actually the data that will be sent in push notifications They're like title subtitle message and redirect url uh, redirect url is that uh, is the url that will be opened after the user clicks on notification banner so subtitle uh, is a io specific uh, field and it will be ignored on android so you can uh, just fill out it or uh, skip if you don't need um, or we can also provide template ID so the templates uh, in one signal is very like powerful thing you can uh, create your uh, push notification templates that can be uh, reusable for example for some promo and one signal has a really nice documentation that explains how to create this push uh, notification templates and how to use them so after you will create this uh, template uh, you will need to get this template id and just paste it here and uh, if template id is provided this all things uh, will be ignored before and we will use a data from a template uh, the second part is data source so it's uh, um, the the section where you need to provide uh, who actually will receive this uh, push notification as i remember before we have added uh, one field uh, named player underscore id to our user and we will want to use uh, the type of user here uh, 
and um, we can uh, select current user here and uh, convert it to a list um, otherwise uh, you need to for example send the notification to a list of users uh, you can use a do search and search for users like this and uh, but in our case we will want to send the push notification to the current user so we will use current user converted to a list in the next field uh, we need to provide the actual field of uh, the user object where we store the player id so for us it's player underscore id and that's pretty it so after user clicks uh, after user will click this test push notification button uh, it will be sent on his device and, and one more thing here is uh, additional setup section uh, you can actually override the app id so the idea here is to have an ability uh, separate the application so for example you have uh, two roles in your bubble app uh, it's a driver and a customer so uh, if you will have uh, if you want to have the separate application in the app store you will also need uh, two separate one signal apps and to um, to send a push notification in term of uh, one bubble web app and two uh, mobile apps you can uh, you have an ability to override this app id here <coughs> so the second action is the segments uh, the segments uh, action is pretty the same as the player id so you have this uh, title subtitle message and redirect here or template id uh, the only difference is in a data source so you can provide here uh, segments so one signal segments is a kind of like groups or cohorts uh, that uh, can contain uh, some amount of users uh, you can set up uh, this uh, you can create these segments with some filters uh, and so on so feel free to uh, check the one signal documentation about the segments so uh, the default segments uh, is uh, active users and inactive users uh, you can include these segments or you can also exclude them if needed um, and that's pretty it so after our app was successfully delivered into the test flight now we can test how our our push notification works so uh, i'm clicking install and we can run our app so let's sign into the application i have the biometric already installed here and clicking test push and it will send the push notification on our device to test push notification you are actually don't need to create uh, a real build so you can uh, use the preview mode uh, you can get more details about the preview mode uh, in our documentation so it simply explain how the preview mode and how to uh, use that so to test the push notification in the preview mode you need to go to the plugins tab in the mod header so you need to write the preview uh, and that should work uh, in the ncnp app so uh, but make sure you remove this preview mod uh, if you want to uh, make your application work with a push notification again because uh, in the preview mode we are replacing the app id so the actual push notification will be sent to ncmp app but not in your application so thank you for watching this video i hope you found it useful and have a nice no coding